in this section we are going to set up our visual studio code okay visual studio is nothing but it is a code editor to write any programming language we need one code editor so for that for this entire series i will be using vs code okay visual studio code is also called as vs code editor okay there are plenty and plenty of code editors whichever you are comfortable and whichever gives you flexibility you can use that code editor we are having plenty and plenty of code editors it depends on the personal choice whichever we feel comfortable or you feel comfortable we just have to use that one so i am going to use visual studio code so in this session we are going to download that one and we are just going to start with visual studio code so before writing javascript code first we will just set up our visual studio code and we will see how to download and install visual studio code okay let's get into the computer screen and start downloading vs code editor i will just open my chrome and inside that i will just type here visual studio code download once we write this one click on this first link okay if you are having mac or linux or windows whichever operating system you have just download particular operating system vs code editor okay for that one you can just download okay here we are having three options i am using windows so i'll just click on this windows download okay now this is all about visual studio code okay if you want you can just go through all these things and you will be having more clarity on what is this vs code editor we are having multiple code editors available in the market now this is 88.3 mb so let it download i will just wait for this completion after this we are just going to install this one and we are just going to set up our vs code editor my downloading is complete now now if you see the definition here visual studio code is a lightweight but powerful source code editor which runs on your desktop and it is available for windows mac os and linux okay this is very lightweight source code editor so if you want you can choose this as well okay now i'm just going to right click on this i'll just click on this open okay now here i will be having this agreement i will just accept this one i'll click on next okay i just want this desktop icon i will check on this when you right click on this if you want this open with code okay if you want to directly open we just have to check on this button okay add open with code open with code actions if you check on this only then we will be getting the option open with code i will click on next now i will just install this one okay now it is getting installed inside my d directory it will be installed and my folder name is microsoft vs code okay it will install all the necessary files and folders which it requires to run our code see now this installation is complete i will just check on this launch visual studio code i'll click on this finish okay i just want to launch my visual studio code i will just open this one my vs code editor is opened but if you see here here i am having library management system folder because vs code was already present inside my system so after downloading and installing this one the folder is still present inside this one because i was using this project previously but first time if you are using this one you will not be having this kind of folder you will be having here outline you will be having timeline we are having file edit selection search we are having this source control we have this run and debug tab and finally we are having this extensions now when it comes to extensions extensions are very very important when we are coding any programming language okay this is how we are going to set up our visual studio code now we are ready to write a javascript code but before that we will just see some of the useful extensions which are required to do any programming language okay next session we are going to see about extensions after that we are directly going to jump into javascript 
Till that's all for this session. Next session we are going to see about extensions.